We're going to continue thinking about addition and subtraction on the number line, but in this case, we're going to have to fill in the missing number. So let's start by looking at this calculation here. We're being asked negative 5 plus what will get us to 3. So if we think through the process, they're telling us the starting point is negative 5. They're telling us that we are adding and we know that where we want to end up is we want to end up there at 3. So how many steps do we need to go to get from negative 5 all the way to 3? Well, to get from negative 5 to 0 is 5 steps and then to get to 3 is another 3 steps. So in total we have gone 8 steps to get from negative 5 to 3. OK, let's have a look at this one. I'd like you to try that one on your own first and then we'll go over it together. OK, so our starting point for this one is 4 and we know we're going down because we're subtracting. And we know we want to end up at negative 2. So how far have we gone down? Well, we went 4 down to get to 0 and 2 more down to get to negative 2. So in total we've gone 6 down. So 4 subtract 6 gives me negative 2. Let's have a look at these ones. Slightly more difficult because we're not even giving you the starting point this time. But we can figure it out. If we have a look at this one here, we don't know the starting point. We've started somewhere, added 4 and ended up at 3. So let's mark on where we've ended up. We've ended up at 3. We were going up from somewhere and we were going up 4 steps. So from somewhere we went up 4 steps and ended up at 3. Well if we want to know where that somewhere is, all we can do is go back down 4 steps and we'll see where we started. So let's go back down 4 steps. So that is 3 steps and one more step, that's four steps. So I must have started at negative one. Okay, try this one for yourself and then we will go over it. All right, so you knew that your ending point needed to be at negative two and you've come down six steps to end up at negative two. So somehow you've started somewhere and you've come down six steps to end at negative two. If we want to find out where you started, we have to go back up the six steps to see where you started. So let's go back up the six steps. That's two steps to zero and four more steps to make six steps in total. So we must have started at four, come down six steps to end up at negative two. 